Namaste everyone. Today's story from Joy of Reading is The Best House of All. The author is Natasha Sharma. The illustrator is Kaveri Gopalakrishnan and the publisher is Pratham Books. All of us live in a house. The best, the most excellent. What is the best house of everything? Let's find out what this girl thinks which is the best house of all. I am an architect. Architects design and make buildings because they like buildings and houses just like I do. Which is why Ma calls me her little architect. So when we have to build a house, there are different people involved. Architect is the person who designs. What does that mean? Should the house be round? Should it be square? And uh, how big the kitchen should be? How many rooms are going to be there? That is an architect. So they draw the whole design of the house. Um, just like how we design a dress, how it should look, you design a house as well. There are other people also involved while building a house. You have builders um, who actually build the house and then structural engineers who see, okay, whether where this support pillar needs to come, uh, where this wall needs to have uh, multiple layers, something like that, right? Those are structural engineers and builders build the house. Then after the house is built to decorate the house inside, we have interior designers. So many people are involved in building a house, but the architect is the one who um, draws how the house should look like, what are the different things inside the house need to be, where they need to be, that's an architect. And this girl likes to, also design houses and her mother calls her little architect because she is a small girl. To build a house you need space in some place. So first of all to build a house obviously you need some space where so that the house can be in that space. Your house could be in a full of trees forest place, a hot, hot, hot desert place, a really high up mountain place. So your house can be in different places, right? What if your house is in a forest where there are so many trees? Or what if your house is in a desert where there is sand and so much heat from the sun? Or your house could be up on top of a mountain and it's really cold out there probably, right? So you have to first know where you're going to build the house. A brr, it's full of snow place. A splashy, sploshy, rainy place. A muddy green village place. Or a tall and big, can't see the end city place. So you can also build a house where there's you know, it's full of snow, ice and everything. Or it could be a place where it is raining like this so much. Or in a nice village where it is green and a lot of mud is there. It could build a house there. Or in the city where you can't see the end of building. There are buildings, buildings, buildings everywhere. Or be a house inside a house. Or you can build a house inside your house. That's what you do, right? With your little blocks or uh, with mud, you build a small house inside your own house as well. To build a house, you also need stuff. To find stuff, you must look around. A forest has trees. A mountain has stones. The Arctic has snow. A village has mud big leaves for thatch and bamboo. A city has bricks, cement, steel and glass. So to build a house, you need a lot of things. And then for all of these things, you must look around. What does a forest have? A lot of trees. So some people build houses made out of wood. In a mountain, you have stones. But some people make houses made of stones and bricks. Well, the Arctic Circle, which is right up there in the north, has a lot of snow. 
So what do they build their houses from? And then a village has like mud, a lot of muds, and there's also green cover like trees, right? So they build houses with roofs as thatch roofs, which has a uh, lot of leaves, uh, hay, like that, right? So they build houses, uh, you know, using leaves for thatch. Thatch is nothing but a roof made out of leaves, um, uh, hay, etc. A city you build with bricks, cement, steel, all of those things, right? In the city you build and then glasses for windows, so on and so forth. So you can see this is a forest, it's a mountain with stones. And then here uh, you have mud, so on and so forth. Different things you can use to build a house. A house has all kinds of stuff. Before you build your house, you must know what you want it to do. So before you build a house, you should find out, okay, what is it that you want? It needs to keep you chill because it's a very hot place or it needs to keep you warm because you're in a very cold place. Um, you know, so you must really know what you want the house to do for you. Igloos made of snow keep you warm. Wood and stone houses with sloping roofs make the rain and snow run right off. Native American teepees made with poles and animal hide keep you cozy. They are easy to pack up and carry around. Houses on stilts keep you away from water. So as you said, you need to know what the house needs to do. And there are different types of houses you can build. When you are in snow where there's a lot of snow around you, you build something called igloo, which will make you keep warm and then wood and stone houses with sloping sloping is like this with sloping roofs when rain comes or snow falls they all fall down that's why you have sloping roofs and then in america so where the native tribes are there the people who belong to that place originally they build something called teepees and they are made you can see in this picture right they're made with poles these are poles some sticks and then it's also made of animal hide or the skin of the animal because then it keeps you warm. And the reason is it's made of these sticks and this animal hide is you can pack it up and then carry it around with you as well because these people keep moving. And then when you're staying over water, you build your houses on stilts. Stilts are nothing but long sticks which are kept like this. And on top of that, you have the house built. So based on your need, you build a house accordingly. And wild animals. So this is what stilts, right? See these long sticks? It's in the water and then you have the house all up there. So this protects you from the water as well as wild animals. Once you have space and stuff, you begin to build. Your house can be any shape and size. Round and small like a mud house with a thatched roof. Tall enough to scrape the sky, skyscraper. Upside down ice cream cone teepee. Round like a cake, Mongolian yacht. Ball sliced in half, igloo. Huge castle shaped. To know more about the houses marked out in bold lettering, turn to the back section. So your house can be of any shape and size. It could be a small round, round like this small mud house made out of mud and it has a roof made out of leaves. It's a thatched roof. Or you see in those tall buildings that seem to touch the sky or scrape the sky like that, right? That's a skyscraper when you see like really, really tall, huge buildings there. That's a skyscraper or a teepee, which is an ice cream cone is like this, right? But if it is upside down, it's a teepee. And then there is something called a Mongolian yurt. It's also a round house, um, which is, you know, which is uh, made, uh, it is like a tent and uh, it, it is used by nomadic tribes or tribes or people who wander from one place to another. And then in the snow, you have houses called Igloo, they are like ball shaped, but only half a ball like this it is, right? Or a huge cash castle like a palace. So let us see some of these as we go read further. And that's what they have 
said here. So castle is this one. It's like a big palace, right? Very nice. Or a super fancy house like mine, but the best house of all. So she has built a house with cloths and whatever things she has found. But she says, what is the best house of everything that is there? Has family to make it a home. So the best house is where you live with your family, uh, your mother, father, grandparents, or uncles, whoever, right? You have a family living with you and that's what makes it a home. Some houses around the world, here, found in Mongolia, yurts are made with a wood frame and thick mats. The parts of the yurt are light enough to be carried on horses and yaks. Tipi, made with long poles and animal hide by the native North American tribes in the plains, this is another house that can be packed up and carried around. So the first house that we are seeing here in this picture is a yacht and it's found in Mongolia. And it's also a circular house made with a wooden frame um, so that um, in the wooden frames and they also wrap it with thick mats. And it is light so that they can be carried on. Horses and yaks are like huge oxes or like wild buffaloes kind of, you know, huge, like that it resembles. So they can be packed up easily. Um, and this is used in Mongolia by their nomadic tribes. Nomads are who go from one place to another. And similarly, teepee. This is a teepee. So remember the upside down ice cream cone? So the teepee is like that. It's like an ice cream cone, but it's upside down. So it is made of these sticks and then it is made out of animal skin, animal hide. So they are used by North American tribes that are living in North America. And this is also another house that can be easily packed up and taken with them if they have to go to another place. Toda Dogle, a half barrel shaped hut of the Toda tribe. These are made with sticks, bamboo and thatch. They have a tiny entrance to crawl through. This keeps out wild animals. The Toda people live in the Nilgiri Hills in South India. So this is a Toda Dogli. It's a half barrel. Barrel is something that is cylindrical in shape. And they, this is the house of these tribe that live in Nilgiri Hills in South of India. And what is their roofs made of? They are made with sticks, uh, bamboos, uh, that's what the house is made of. And the roof is a thatch. Again, it's made out of straws and leaves. And they have a very small, tiny entrance. You have to crawl through. You have to like go like, like this, like a baby is crawling on the floor, right? That's because so that the wild animals don't come inside. Igloo. Did you know that a house made of tightly packed snow bricks can keep you warm? At least warmer than the minus 40 degrees centigrade outside. You can find them in the Canadian Arctic and in Thule in Greenland. So this is an igloo. It's remember it is a half shaped ball, right? That's what it is. And it is made out of snow bricks by itself. And this one keeps you warm in that very cold temperature, minus 40 centigrade. Have you ever been in that kind of a temperature? Stills, what shape is that? Like an insect? Stills help keep the place cool and are common in Southeast Asia. So stills are these long sticks on, on top of which the house is built. And it keeps the place cool. And where is it found? In Asia, in Southeast Asia especially. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this story with me understanding the different types of houses that are built in various parts of the world. Thank you. Bye. Difficult words. Thatch, a roof covering of straw, palm leaves and similar material. You can see the picture of a thatched roof. Skyscraper, a very tall building with many floors. Try these. Which house did you like in this story and why? What is your house made of?